Ordo. A modern city with traditional southern values. I underestimated how far he was going to go. What he was willing to do. Visit the historic French ward and enjoy local cuisine at one of our five-star restaurants. Killing them wasn't enough. Lincoln Clay was using them to send a message. Or spend the afternoon in the bayou and take in its natural splendor. Sal Marcano had no idea what he was going to unleash. New Bordeaux. Safe. Family-oriented fun. Make it your next vacation destination. This city survived the War of 1812, the Civil War, and God knows how many hurricanes. But when Lincoln Clay went after the mob, he inflicted more damage than all the wars and hurricanes combined. Lincoln's mother abandoned him in 1947, a couple of years after he was born. His mother, I heard she was Dominican. I always figured his father was white, maybe even not Italian. Not that it mattered. Back then, if you look black, you black. Same as today, I suppose. He stayed at the orphanage until 1958. Well, when did you meet Lincoln Clay? 1966. I was running black ops out of Laos on behalf of the CIA. He was loaned out to me via joint CIA DOD task force. He was a quiet boy. Good boy. Two Purple Hearts, the Bronze Star, and the Distinguished Service Cross. He served his country with honor and distinction. After the city closed the orphanage, he fell in with Sammy Robinson. Sammy ran the black mob over in Delray Hollow. I can't say I approve. But often colored boys didn't have a lot of options back then. Boys like Lincoln, the ones who've been abandoned, they're always looking for a home. Always looking for a place to belong. I think he thought he'd find it in the army. Thing is, once that's lost, never get it back again. When he returned from the war, Lincoln ended back up over at Sammy's. Now Sammy owed the Italian mob a whole lot of money, and he needed Lincoln's help. It's a damn shame what happened. It breaks my heart. Still say this is the craziest goddamn thing I ever heard. Using real money to rob the feds. Well, hell, man, not like this is our cash. This all came from Skeletta. Besides, peanuts compared to what we're gonna haul out of there. Is everything we need to burn? Yeah, that's it. I grabbed the keys to the truck, then we can get the fuck out of here. Hey, man, grab those keys. Keys in the other room. Grab them so we can get the hell out of here. Still not sure about leaving him like this. He came through with the truck just like we asked. Only grease his part to make it look good. If you got doubts, why take the chance?
then there's that. Goddamn. <laughs> we should get going. You got the keys so you can drive. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. Take it easy heading to town. We don't need the cops crawling up our asses. Mm. My old man wanted us to keep one of the guards alive, help throw the feds off the trail. Like you said, I take a chance. Besides, if I learn anything from being over in Nam, someone's willing to flip sides once, they're probably willing to do it a second time. Fuck you in the process. So answer me this, what's the craziest thing you saw over there? You don't want to know. Hell, man, I'm a taxpayer. I got the right to know how my money's being spent. Oh, Georgie Marcano pays taxes. Damn right I do. That's how they got Al Capone, and I ain't going to prison for no fucking tax bill. Huh. So come on, you gonna answer the question or what? We, uh... We on the coast of Quang Nai, evacuating the civvies for Charlie overran everything. Anyway, we getting them onto a medical ship. And this woman walks up. She got a baby in one hand and the leash to a pig in the other. She starts up the ramp, and the MP stops her and tells her, you can only bring one thing on board. So she tosses the baby into the water. MP goes ape, tells someone dive in after the kid, starts screaming at the woman, wants to know what the fuck she's thinking. You know what she says to him? She says, I can always have another baby. Jesus fucking Christ. Hey, man, you asked. <laughs> yeah, but I thought you were going to tell me a story about some goop getting his dick blown off or something. I mean, god damn. It's not a fault. But not like you think. The conditions over there, man. Jesus Christ. One day you're raising cattle, tending your rice. Next day everything bombed flat. You put people up against the wall, they will do anything to survive. That better have been one delicious fucking pig. Guards at the reserve probably won't be too keen on you waltzing around with that piece of yours. I'll just leave it under the seat. Time to see if these forged IDs are worth a fuck. Back it up to the loading dock. Some of these fellas might get a little uh, rough with the language and... Well, it ain't like I've never been called nigger before. I know, but I'm just saying, if I go along with it, ain't nothing personal. The only thing I care about is getting our hands on that money.
When I say something about being hot, that's when we make our move. All right. Where the hell you going, Lincoln? Ah, right, here we go. Put your IDs up the glass. We're part of the Boeing crew. What the fuck's this shit heel doing here? Affirmative action. You know how it is. Old country is spinning around a goddamn toilet. You can follow me. As for you, go on and grab those bags off the truck. You'll be carrying them to the burning room. How much y'all bring in? $238,546. Small bills, mostly. I'll have Miss Gale call up to your office when we're done. She'll confirm the delivery. Appreciate it. You need to check that scattergun. You packing anything? Still in training. Good. One less goddamn thing for me to worry about. You can pick it up on the way out. Buying room's down in the cellar. This way. I ain't seen y'all around these parts before. Y'all was over in Georgia for a while. He just got out the service. And my cousin's been trying to get on here for Bain a while. room's year downstairs. Now. Was in the Navy for two tours. Got medals falling out of his ass. <laughs> Government tells him thanks, but no thanks. That's a crock of shit if I ever heard one. <laughs> Sad day when a god fearing white man can't get a job. But that old nigga who staggers in is hiding on the spot. You bastards better not be playing with each other back there. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! Christ, look at that. Didn't know y'all held that much gold. Uh, Washington's been shuffling around on account of the war. It's here, then it gets sent to Dallas, then it comes back. Uh, it doesn't make a lick of goddamn sense. Here we are. Those bags on the table there. Never done this detail before. Figured it'd be bigger. It gets the job done. Only time there's a problem is when the flu clogs up. Fuck. That's some heat right there. We used to use coal for it, but a year or so back we switched over to oil. Maintains a more consistent flame. Here's yeah, some guy come around the house trying to switch me over to oil. I told him I wasn't interested. I never was neither till I saw this. At least with oil. Uh, uh, uh. God, that guy was an asshole. We need to move. Danny and Ellis should be coming up any time now. All right, give me a second. <clears throat> All right, you take care of those guards. You keep your ass down. You don't want them getting a drop on us. I know what the fuck I'm doing. You know that house we've been renting out? Called over there last night. Told them I wanted to sell it. Told them they needed to be out in two weeks. And the man, his name's uh, John, starts laying into me, saying the lease gives them the right to a 30-day notice. That's how he's supposed to find a new place in two weeks. So I tell him none of that's my go-
Come on, we need to get this vault open. Oh, I hope this combination skeleton got us is legit. I'll be damned. All right, go for it, Godzilla. Ooh. Holy fucking <laughs> shit. It's beautiful. All right, I'm gonna take care of this room. You see what you can get from outside. <clears throat> Once these boys punch you with that drill, we're gonna start throwing this down. System. All right, we're gonna hold off the guards until Danny's done drilling. Hey, we're gonna pull this off. Gonna blow his damn head off. Gonna give you hope now. Goddamn, we shall kick the hornet's nest this time. Only way we walk out of here is if we get the weapons stored in that armor. Bust the door open. I'll watch our asses. My old man gonna shit a brick when he hears about this. Fuck. Open. Give me that damn thing. With the smoke. Shit, man, these guys ain't fucking around. Face way worse than this over in Nam. Little smoke don't be shit. Stay close to the vault, watch for the drill. I'll deal with these assholes. What's he think he's doing? 
Well, Sammy had men all over the place. Now, one of them worked at a cleaner's and stole the uniforms Georgie Marcano and Lincoln Clay wore on the day of the robbery. Another one was a janitor at the Federal Reserve, and he provided a rough layout. The robbery of the Federal Reserve was timed perfectly, and none of it would have been possible without the involvement of Sammy Robinson, Lincoln Clay, and the rest of the black mob. You just come from Vietnam? That's right. I was a Marine in the Pacific. You take it from me. Just because you're home doesn't mean you're back. You understand? People around here, they don't, they don't get it. Never will. <laughs> Keep your ass out of trouble. I'm late. Got caught up crossing the bridge. Don't worry about it. Excuse me, sir. I'm looking for my stepbrother, Lincoln Clay. You seen him? He used to get ticked off if you were even a minute late. Kiss my ass. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> <laughs> How was the trip? Me and Sal, this is the first time in four years, and somebody telling me where to go, what to do, or how to do it. It was fucking great. <laughs> Hmm. What's new with the old man? Man, don't even get me started on Pops. He used to pull his head out of his ass. Same as ever then. Brother, you have no fucking idea. Damn, Ellis. She's looking good. <laughs> Just like I left her. Man, even I know not to fuck around with your cop. Hmm. All right, come on. I'm ready to go home. Hmm.